Richard, you're here in Nicholsville. Tell me about yourself, how you survive. Well, I take it just one day at a time and go by that. Uh, I came up from San Diego to uh, get into permanent housing, looking for full-time work, you know, and uh, I've been out on the streets, sleeping underneath the I-5 overpass, slept in the park, on the sidewalk. I've done that, all that. But I'm trying to find a way to improve my way of life, is to get myself into uh, a more solid structure, like a house, or and into a full-time job. This seems to be like a, uh, a step up, a step up from the street. I mean, Nicholsville Hill is- Nicholsville has been helping me quite a bit, and, uh, and I've been helping them quite a bit as well. Yeah, it's it's really a community. Nicholsville is not a regular tent city like Tent City Three or Tent City Four. Nicholsville is its own community of people who've been living out on the street and trying to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and improve their ways of life to keep themselves away from the drugs and alcohol. And this is what they've been doing: is creating a shelter for them uh, by living in the tents and stuff like this. And we've started a few uh, yards away about September 22nd, 2008. We started out with about 150 tents. We went to 58 tents, to 75 tents, to 126 tents, to 100 tents, to 70 tents. And now we're on our way back up to about 70 tents. Wow, you, uh, you have a great memory. You I, have a, a really amazing memory. I keep everything logged down. Uh, what, now, what is your job here? My job, well, I'm not holding any title. Right now, I just help out where I can and things like that. You've been just so friendly to me. I know I know when we come in and sign at the visitor's thing. Now, this is your home? Yes, it is. Uh, can I see the address? Uh, I mean, you all have these addresses. Um, that's just these are uh, our name plates but how many keep count of how many tents we have in here and, and so that it, when people need to do their securities they would be able to find them for each and every shift we got anywhere between two securities to three securities per week depends on how many people we get in and all that what's your future my future I don't know it's still in the air but to get into a permanent structure, like to get into a house, like to create, turn the house into an office, is what I would like to do. And what do you, what do you what, what what do you do for work? Right. Well, I am an uh, unemployed warehouseman. Gotcha. I, I load and unload trucks and trailers and things like that, sort out stuff and things like that. Just not not anywhere. Supply loader and stuff like that. If you had three wishes, what would they be? One, to have an eight bedroom house. Two, to have a Mercedes Benz Jeep, five door, four wheel drive to get to and from work. And one of the most things I'd like to have inside my house is to be able to study federal law books. And why rules is that? And regulations. And why is that? And to become a federal judge. Wow, you've got it all planned out. Well, I gotta work towards it and I gotta start at the bottom to work my way up. Great goals. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, sir.